Gun Nation, Eckhart, Indiana. Man walks into a supermarket, shot a store employee, a customer, pointed the gun at a third person when the police shot and killed him. No indication that a gunman knew the two women that he murdered. Then we go to New Mexico. A 12-year-old boy drew a sawed-off shotgun from a band instrument case and shot and wounded two classmates in middle school before a teacher talked him into dropping the weapon. At this point, thankfully, the children are in satisfactory condition. Outside Tampa, Florida, disagreement, get this, over texting during the preview portions of a movie ended in gunfire. A man shot and killed his wife, critically injured. He was checking to see how the kids were before the movie started. This man, the gunman in Tampa, someone I want everyone to think about, hey, we need more guys with guns here, more good guys, right? Well, this 71-year-old man's a retired police officer. He's being held without bond, and he told authorities he was in fear of being attacked during the confrontation. Turns out the person had picked up a box of popcorn, and that's what spurred him to empty the gun. Listen, guys, unfortunately, we're talking about this in a production meeting. I have no reason to think that next week, next month, there's going to be three other random stories about this, and nothing's going to change. The, the one thing that jumped out at me about the Florida story was, for all those phonies who say, hey, we need to put more guns and more, this guy developed a tactical program in Tampa, Florida. Um, the guy who shot up and killed somebody for having the audacity to text in the preview part of the movie. So it, I, there's a helplessness aspect that I don't know a month from now, a year from now, there's anything different in this country on this subject except we're going to have 30,000 plus more dead people at the end of a gun. You know, uh, it's a trite subject. I talk about it every day. Trite in the sense that we talk about it all the time. So more cliche is probably what I don't know. We talk about it. We're beating it to death and rightfully so. However, I'd be much more willing to really, really sink my teeth into this thing and start flipping it around even deeper if we were just as willing to literally go through, because as you're talking, I'm thinking there's 300 million people in America. There's 300 million people in America. This is a small number. And I said, well, who am I kidding? In the last three days, I've talked about four people getting shot in Yonkers. There are people getting, I'm not even gonna say Chicago, because talk about cliche, everybody, nobody wants to hear about Chicago, because the thing is, is that there are people being shot, young black men shooting young black men, young Hispanic men shooting young Hispanic men, every single day, every single hour. And we don't talk about it, we don't talk about it, because that's not the news grabber. It's the 71-year-old white guy who should be the good guy, <laughs> and we don't talk about the real the problem. There are common which sense are, restrictions that should be put on guns. And they're there. Come on, they're not no. there. Dude, though. they're on. there. They're there. You but could wait, make the argument the more restrictions on cars, wait. getting a license. How, hold on, on, on a second. Hold on. Talk about what I'm talking about, though. Don't go. Don't go to where you want to go. Talk about what I'm talking about, and that is every single day, you young men, of, young men of you color you, you killing mentioned? each other. You said 300 million people. Right. How many guns are there in this country? God knows. No, too no. Many, probably too many. No, no. There's more than 350 it's million. Like 400, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. It makes sense. Sure. No, no. Okay. It doesn't make sense. No, no. It's right. insane. I know. No, no, no. We have I mean, more guns in this country than people. That would be the number. Sure. And, you know, I was watching the Australian Open. Military-grade guns. I mean, well, come on. We're still on. not talking about my point. I, you want to parade all of the oh my gods, but we, that makes us forget the oh of course. But you know what? Oh, if, of course. Oh, of course. Mount Vernon, Yonkers. He just put a punctuation why City. this is so Better hard to fix because the conversation is it's so big. It's so yes. hard to solve. Th yes. But then what do we do? Right. We'll say like this. And I'm only going to tell you, in Australia, they had a massacre. And what do they do about it? They bought back every gun in that country. And you go back today, how many people were but killed Richard, by the end of the gun? It's not going to happen. I'm but not we're, delusional. But, were their, but frankly, were their politicians paid off? How do I know? I don't know. All I'm saying is, bottom line is there's so money. little will. Money. There's money. so little will and money so much you know in the There's so much stuff. will for each person, each side, as was just evidenced here, to, to, to talk about the versions of the gun story that they want to talk about, and then they hang there. Uh, you, you, you guys want to talk about the 71 year old I, white I gotta, guy? I gotta, no, no, I got to hit a break, but we've talked yeah. about the countless stories of, of yeah. urban violence, it, it, but it's not relegated there. It's in suburbs, it's in rural areas. 31,000 right. dead Americans. Are right. Here. My only point is, yeah, it's an awful number. We throw our hands up when we talk about how hard it is and how widespread it is. And I don't know, to me, it's one of the, the most biggest modern day stains on this country. I agree. And yeah. we never got any closer to solving it in the three and a half minutes we just talked <laughs> about. <laughs> I right. agree. I when agree. When we come back, we're going to end on a positive note. Miracle in the Hudson five years later. Um, I still can't believe that story. Stop. Boring story. Really? Ooh,